What's up, millionaires? All right, so we are here in Denver, 36 hours. We, uh, we just left Cleveland. Cleveland was awesome. We looked at probably over 100 homes in a four day period. We got our foot project going. It's, uh, it's moving straight. And we got held up on one of the closes just because of some of the paperwork. It's a new area, but that's all good. Uh, one of our partners flew back to Canada for the weekend. One of our other partners is still there, boots on the ground. But here's, you know, Colorado is one of these beautiful states that it's actually one of the first places that I bought a multifamily property. So tomorrow we're actually gonna go down, we're gonna tour that property, do a quick little walkthrough. And after that, Tomorrow we're going to tour around Colorado Springs, maybe look at a few more fix and flips, and then from there, uh, we're probably going to hang out with some investing partners, but uh, we'll keep you updated on this trip. It's going to be pretty exciting. Again, it's just a short 36-hour flight. Really what's cool about this trip is like, like one, I get to reminisce about when I originally bought this property. I get to anchor on it, and I get to kind of see like, you get back to that feeling where it's like, I created that passive cash flow, like this is five, six years ago that allowed me to be able to live this life, travel when I want to, do the things that I want to do, and be able to like, hang out with amazing people. Like tomorrow I'll be hanging out with Josh. Uh, Josh is fixing and flipping houses here and in North Carolina. So it's just one of those things where, you know, as you build this network of people, you surround yourself with good quality people, you're able to jet set, you're able to visit these cities and just do things that you want to do. So that's it for now. We'll catch you guys in the next reel. All right, so what's going on today, Mitch? So uh, we're actually on our way down to the springs. Uh, anytime we wake up, we gotta stop at Starbucks. It's kind of a thing now. One of the real estate trends that I see in big cities is if you take like the big city, the center of the big city, and you drop a pin on that, you're gonna get the most appreciation in that market. So for example, if you buy a house or a condo or, or a luxury apartment in like a downtown center of a city, that apartment's gonna appreciate the fastest. But as you go outside that city, like this is south of Denver, like this whole area, if this area is pushing, it's kind of a wedge, and it moves down, but what happens here is you get a little more value for your property, so that's why people get outside that city, because they can't really keep up with that appreciation. So as you move outside of that center point, I call it like the second ring, so you have your bullseye and the second ring, well in there, you're gonna get a little bit more mixture of cash flow for your apartments and appreciation. So when you take the dead center of the city, you buy a house for $100,000 in a couple years, that property will double. But if you come down here, that property will maybe only improve by 50%. But you'll also get ongoing cash flow a month. And then the furthest tier outside of that, the third ring, that's where you're gonna get a lot of cash flow, but you're not gonna get appreciation in the market. So, and it depends on what your goals are, right? So if you're looking to make quick money, then you want to buy in the city because you can buy a property and you almost will never make, lose money on it unless the market really dramatically changes. But if you're looking for steady income, like, so what I like to do is I like to flip houses in the, in the center of the city, as close to the center of the city as possible, and then I take that money and I roll it to the ex outside of the city to get a little bit of mixture of cash flow and appreciation. There is where I used to live. Those apartment buildings. They've changed colors probably three or four times over the years. So, finally made it to Colorado Springs, and I can already kind of get like all these feelings from when I was back in the military. So, this is actually the first place I touched American soil after being overseas. I went to Korea and then Iraq, and then it was kind of this like crazy feeling because I, I felt like I was gone forever. But I remember living down here. And, uh, and seeing like all these apartment buildings, but I, it never really, like, I was never really in my realm of like ideas that I could actually make this happen. So it was like, I was looking for single family properties. And then now after years and years of kind of experience here, like now I'm looking at these big multifamily. So it's, it's what's cool about this trip is, like we're gonna go back and look at our first one, but then we're gonna look at some of these bigger properties. And uh, yeah, that's it. Now. So we just left one of my, uh, again, fourplexes that I own here in Colorado Springs, met up with a broker, and just kind of talked about some of the comps in the neighborhood, what the market's doing, uh, what her view is, and uh, over here, like you see, like, my, check it out. Just going through, gutting it. 
this whole area what you know a few years ago wasn't wasn't as nice as it is right now and six in six years like when you bring in investors into an area it's kind of crazy to watch the whole market grow and that's everyone that's in Denver right now it's so expensive to buy there so they want to move to Colorado Springs which is kind of what we were talking about earlier with like when you buy in these like these bullseye markets the price just inflates so much so you can kind of follow that wedge down and that's why Colorado Springs is such a good move it's got the military bases it's got the colleges it's got you know, it's got great tech um, influx of people are just flowing here and so we just did a walkthrough met some of the tenants and just kind of inspected the property we did see some of the landscaping was lacking but those are all just things that when you're checking up on your properties you know if you're just you're being that active active investor even though you have property managers just just being present and being friendly with your tenants like they'll stay there and and when you have a good tenant it's 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 like gold I mean you're literally you got like a, a check that's gonna be coming in forever for generations so that's why I love this real estate game and I love that property and I don't think I'm gonna sell it anytime soon even though it's it's, it's doing really well I just uh, it's a good property for me what's up millionaires so uh, right now we're hanging out at the Cheyenne Mountain Country Club uh, the broker that I've been working with here in Colorado Springs totally hooked it up she's like this is her country club so she just gave us two passes and uh, we're gonna kick it here at the pool for a little bit and then as you can see like the view right here is magic like inside there there's this pool that looks up at this now the breakers in florida is good but i gotta tell you this one right here like this this is living this is why we do real estate we get to travel we get to crush some deals we get to live this life i mean like i'm telling you man when i was in the army this is the stuff i pictured it, it happens when you just put in the work oh, after this Get some chow, that's it. What's up everybody? We just wrapped up here in Colorado. Super amped up about this trip. We got to see a few properties and hang out with some awesome things. And right now we're just doing a few sightseeing, uh, showing the videographer some of the amazing points that I used to come up with stationed here and honestly this is one of my favorite places guard of the gods we were talking about maybe passing this up but i just could not do that to him when you come to colorado springs this is definitely one of the places you have to come to i mean honestly millions of years well that's it for this trip uh next stop's gonna be sunny south florida we'll wrap up a few more of our flip projects there and uh See you guys on the other side.